हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू जी इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डी जी इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज टू ड्रा द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम इन सपोर्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस कंटिलेवर बीम बाय यूजिंग द सेप 2000 सॉफ्टवेयर सो सेप 2000 इज अ कमर्शियल सॉफ्टवेयर यूज फॉर द एनालिसिस इन डिजाइन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर एंड फॉर द बीम्स फॉर द कॉलम यू कैन डिजाइन एनी टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर मेंबर बट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल फोकस टू ड्रा टू एनालाइज माय दिस कंटिलेवर बीम With the help of SAP 2000 software, so you can see this is a cantilever beam having the length of eight meter and load uniformly distributed load on this cantilever beam is four kilonewton per meter. So to analyze this beam, uh, we have to come to the SAP 2000 main window. Uh, so first of all, we have to change the unit uh, as per our uh, drawings. So you can, as you can see here, the unit of length is meter here, and the force unit is kilonewton. So I will change my units here the kip inches. So I will change into kilonewton into meter. Right now my uh, drawings uh, units are same as in CU shape 2000. So now I'm going to draw the model. So I will uh, draw file a new model, and then I will uh, click on the grid only. So I want to make my beam of cantilever beam. So the x direction and x direction we have two points. The starting in the in points in y direction view nothing because beam is a single line element and uh, the beam length is 8 meter so we can see we can write it here that the grid spacing in x direction is 8 meter should be 8 while the y is the direction uh, is, uh, is no effect to change because it's one and one so nothing uh, to do in this data so oh, click ok so now this is my uh, cantilever beam you can see here the 3d view on the right side where the x y plane on the left side so i want to close the 3d view later on i will also show the 3d view so now i want to show the exit view so this is my beam right cantilever beam but uh, this is not the the actual beam because this is just the grid line uh, as i was shown in the previous videos that what is the grid lines you can check the my previous video so I can double click on this so yeah uh, my beam uh, length is from A to B you can see here from A to B my beam length is 8 meter my beam length is 8 meter so it's okay and Y direction Z direction there is nothing to do okay so now to define the beam first of all I will draw the material uh, let's suppose my concrete uh, my concrete is 5000 psi and my steel uh, grade bar used here is 60, 000, 60 psi okay and i will delete the 4000 psi similarly the 50 psi right so i'm just my concrete material is 5000 and grade steel is 60 so and then i define the section properties i want to define my beam section uh, so it's my concrete beam a rectangular beam uh, let's suppose i'm giving a the name of cantilever beam cantilever beam having the concrete strength of 50,000 okay 5,000 uh, I want to make the uh, beam depth equal to 0.5 meter and the width 0.3 meter concrete reinforcement I want to change it to the 60 60 okay beam you can check the beam because we are going to analyze the beam so this is a clear top cover and bottom cover usually taken as 0.4 0.4 so and then I can uh, put is I can click OK here OK the cantilever beam so now I can mm, define the load patterns uh, taken into consideration of low live load here with my uniformly distributed load right live and a new load patterns it is live load now and i can also add the combination of the load you can also add the combination of the load here a new combination and you can write it as the affected load combination and you can write the scale factor for example the dead load scale is 1.2 the live load scale is 1.6 so eight okay this is a load combination so now you can draw the beam and by clicking this quick draw frame element right by clicking this you have cantilever beam yes so just clicking on 
the beam so you will get the beam so this is my uh, beam but uh, it's not uh, the but the ends are not given either it is simply supported by my cantilever beam so i just click on this left side of the beam and went to the and go to the sign and then joint restraint and want to fix support so all these are will be fixed all these will be now let's check on you can you will you have you to see that all these boxes are checked so this it means there is a fixed support and the hinge support and the roll support you can see here that there is some uncheck and in the fixed support all these are check ones there's a hinge support there's a ruler and there's a pen internal hinge you can say so you are fixed so okay this is my fixed portion and this uh, it should be the uh, free ended beam because it's a cantilever beam so this end should be the free so now i can see in 3d that this is my beam and 3d view and now the exit view here the fixed support now i want to remove the grid lines so just uh, right click on the window edit grid data modify and hide all grid lines so my grid lines will be disappeared and only i will remain with the beam so this is my cantilever beam now to place the load as you can see here the eight meter beam length we we model but we didn't place the load of four kilometer per meter so coming to the load so i can click on this beam and then assign the frame load then distributed load uh, i have to place the live load and the force okay uh, and it with the existing load if there is any and i want to absolute distance from the end but you can see here uniform load you you don't have to place either relative or absolute distance it's usually placed for the uh, pointed load due to uniform load so i four it's in the gravity direction okay so this is four kilometer per meter load is acting on this beam back double click on this beam now um, and you can see here you can see here your beam in this eight meter okay and by clicking the right side right on this beam so you will get the section property it is a cantilever beam uh, we will also see here some other data that how much the load is acting the four kilonewton you can see here the units are kilonewton meter so start force per length four kilonewton at zero and four kilonewton at the distance of eight meter so we have uniformly distributed load name by the live load is acting on this beam so this was my uh, modeling and uh, in the uh, modeling of the beam with the load now i want to uh, save my model then i will analyze this model so i can easily save just by name by the name of cantilever beam now i want to analyze this beam so just click here analyze and run analysis and i want and i don't want to uh, do the model so do not run sorry just click here do not run run now so i will also uh, wait for some moment the beam will be analyzed automatically by the software you can analyze any type of beam with the help of this software as you can see here uh, the beam has been deflected in the uh, in the shape where actual shape should be so uh, it means our analysis was same if we start the animation See here my beam my beam is being fixed at the left end while it will be where it should be deflected on the right side or if i see the 3d view of this beam start animation and in this way similarly uh similarly fine to display the shear forces in support reactions first of all i want to know about the support reactions due to the live load so the support reactions as you can see here it's 32 kilonewton right so as we can directly calculate it that the four kilonewton per meter if you multiply with the eight four into eight we get the 32 so the whole uh, reaction force will be supported at the end so 32 kilonewton will be acting upward to resist this force so it means our support reaction is exactly same as the, uh, as the analysis done by the sap 2000 software i can also display the shear forces and the show forces stresses so uh, i will again show you display and then show forces joints you will see the support reactions by clicking the frame cable you will see the uh, the if you want to try the shear for diagram click on the shear 22 
in fill diagram or show wheelies i want to show wheelies and diagram okay so my shear force diagram is like that one in the 32 wheel is acting uh, at the left inside of the beam and there is nothing uh, at the right side of the beam because it's simple it's a cantilever beam so there's a shear force diagram of this beam while this is in opposite direction to that of the diagram which we usually you know, draw in our uh, notebooks we draw in upper direction while here in the shape 2000 they took the value in the downward direction but it's not the uh, but the magnitude remains the same so it doesn't matter so now to display the moment diagram i will again click the same live load i will moment for moment we click the m3 this is okay so we will have the moment of 128 kilonewton meter so you can also get the same moment if you draw the bending moment diagram uh, on your uh, rough notes so you will get the same value of minus 128 kilonewton meter so this was the, the way how to display how to analyze the uh, uh, shear force and bending moment diagram of the of this uh, cantilever beam and i hope you guys understand how to draw the shear how to model and how to place the different properties in the beam and how to analyze and how to draw the shear force and bending moment and support directions of the beam without using the hand uh, notebooks you can easily draw the shear force and bending moment from this affair hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video